So it's, it's a lot of questions here. So we start to search what, what is the secret. And in 1979, I think, it was two students that came in the first time to my class. And again, I have to remind that we were working in couples and touching each other as part of the training, especially the stretches and the warm-up, the start of the class. And two kids came in a difference of one week or ten days, complaining that they cannot dance. One girl complained that she cannot dance because she had her, uh, her uh, side, her side. Uh, in the leg and she cannot move. Her thigh. Her thigh. Oh my God, my English is not bad. And, uh, and, uh, thank you. And, uh, three days before she told me she sub sub separated from her boyfriend. And she was really crying and this and this. And, uh, I remember it. But I could do nothing with this information. Uh, seven days after, Yochai, that I told you about before, came to me and said, I cannot move. My side helped me. But this is what, what is your, the separation in your life? I left university. I said, what? So I left university. There is a logic between happening in life and dance problems. And I wrote it. And I started to write what people are willing to say and what's going after them. To them. And I saw that it's a pattern. And like this, I, I, I told it to my student. And from 70. Eight, I think, or 79, all the classes and all my students were starting to write everybody what he remember was his friend said, and injuries in the body, or hurt in the body, or cramp in the muscles, and to the school search, until around, around 2000, talking about search of over 30 years, we came to a point that every little muscle, a small muscle, a part of the muscle, we came to have, we call it the neck, muscle neck, and it, we, we, we could say what, what things make it to stop functioning correctly. It's good for therapy position because we could heal back problems. We could heal uh, one of our, my first client was on the 70s. He was a professor for 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 for, for brain and suffer. He was a father of one of my my, my dancers, and she said to him, "Go to your own, go to your own," because he suffered from from migraine for 15 years, and it was. Or five or ten meetings in the in the studio. So it was the place. As I said, dance and therapy is one world for us, or for me, since I'm a child. And I healed him. And after him, a big problem was no problem at all. And after him, started to be. After me, it was starting to be the big problems, like one of the, of the, the friends of another dancer got cancer, and she told him about what they are doing in the school, what they are doing in this, and things like this. We call it Torata Dmimo, the, the stoppages uh, legacy, you can say. Uh, which means when the life stops because of the block, 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 block,
see, look, I don't, I don't know how to put it. To me, now it's very high, high uh, word in Hebrew that it says something like, 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 uh, like uh, if you want to memory somebody uh, or to respect some, somebody very much, you are standing down in Hebrew without moving. So we are using this word to explain the happening in the body and we call it Nima, which is like the life, for this case, stops and everything looks like it's moving, but it is not. Uh, and one of the effects of the Nima is the repetition, that you continue and you continue the same mistake or the same terrible love story or the same folia in, in work and also in the body. So you keep repeating the same story? Yes, you keep repeating the same story. Yes, and story. and okay. this man was uh, was young and he was he had cancer. Those times it was immediately you think about that. And he came. And he was my first uh, cancer. Uh, the patient. Patient. And uh, after half a year, he was cured. He said, "Me, I'm going to the television." I said, "Me, I'm going to the television." He said, "Why are not Why I'm not going to the television?" He said, "Because I don't want nobody to know that I am in here." So why not? I said, "I'm a dancer and choreographer. That's it. The rest is my business." <laughs> So, your techniques came out of direct experience and its relationship to dance and the problems that dancers have. But you, today you've done more than just that. You've incorporated other techniques, other different styles, Eastern, Western styles of uh, therapy into your unique therapy that you uh, continue to do today. Can you share a little about that or what you found that was very interesting that helped you? Uh, you know, progress as a, as a healer? Uh, around the 80s, uh, the acupuntura in the shiatsu was almost nobody knew about it in the world. But uh, luckily, two of my students, Batami Gardel and Sipi, uh, went to the to the East. City, I forgot her family name, went to Japan and she did a doctorate on the stoppages, on the green of the Japanese. In the natural, she was looking in the, the people in the natural uh, springs. But Batami went to China. I don't know how she did it, maybe she had a, a, a foreign passport. And she came with the shiatsu. And we start to look the difference between our map and the Chinese map. And we saw difference. We saw differences. It was not the same. Many things were the same. But we saw a lot of differences. And those times we saw the differences is because of different personality and different culture. Yeah, makes sense. And from that level we said we will be interested very much from this knowledge and we will respect it, but it's not true we can use it as a Western people. But it came, you know, uh, like especially in the 90s, more and more and more in interesting things. And I went to study, uh, to study the, the Chinese uh, therapy treatment and it's very different from the way that we progress in Yerushalayim, the technique of therapy and dancing, but there are many things you can learn from it and you can understand and especially the interest is the very, 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 very deep. I work later with uh, Nina. Nina Spiegel is one of the masters of healers in uh, Chinese acupuncture. And I was 
was working with her and we collaborate and, and research the idea. And she was very much interested by the Zimima legacy and I was very much interested in her legacy. And in the higher level, it's the same. But very, 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 very deep and the, 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 the very, very high level is not, is not uh, what you meet in the school or with the young people. So, only after the, after I had three clinics, I get to know that we are in the same world. That it's very much the same. The technique and the system, how to get the link is very different. And, uh, I'm using, for example, discussion, how to understand, to analyze the history. It's take the discussion, but how to know what to change the food. I'm taking the discussion, how to understand where the soul is because of, of the artist idea that you want to, to help the person to. to, to to, 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 to discover, not to discover, to legalot, lachsof, his real personality. To, to, it's, it's different. It's different thinking. So, with all of these other disciplines that you, you've incorporated into your work, where do you see yourself now? Where, where, as now? Now. In the coffee with Steve. Ah. <laughs> in Tel Aviv. <laughs> but you have to remember I'm living in Yerushalayim. I'm staying here only because of my work. But also you have another office, another place in, in the Moshad. Yes, I have three clinics in Yerushalayim. This is my house. Ramot Shavin. This is a, a clinic in the garden, in a beautiful uh, uh, reunion, it's called the uh, health center. Uh, with art, again, including with art, and I have a clinic in Tel Aviv. Here, this coffee. <laughs>